chia seeds, flax, hemp, those are higher than soy in phytoestrogens. And if you give those phytoestrogens to a girl that is in her childbearing years and having her period, it really screws her up. You have to understand that you're not gonna go eat chia seeds in nature. You're not gonna eat flax in nature. Those plants are medicinal. They're not food that you should be eating every day. So today we've been blessed with a double trouble Muppet collaboration. The video being from Gubba Homestead, who genuinely thinks the earth is flat and who recommends honey to infants, combined with the voiceover from the primal bod who blocked me over a year ago. Time school. So here they're claiming that chia, hemp and flax seeds messes up women's hormones because they're higher in phytoestrogens than soy products. That's complete nonsense. First of all, isoflavones, which are the main class of phytoestrogens they're talking about, are estrogen-like compounds that bind to estrogen receptors. However, there is a small molecular difference that makes them bind to estrogen receptor beta rather than alpha. And that's important because the two estrogen receptors have different tissue distributions and they can even exert the opposite physiological effects. So these phytoestrogens could even be anti-estrogenic in nature. Now, there doesn't seem to be much human research on the effect of chia seeds themselves on women's reproductive health, but several rodent studies like this one suggest that chia seeds have a potential protective role against obesity-induced ovarian dysfunction owing to their anti-inflammatory properties. And when we look at isoflavones in general, like in this meta-analysis of 40 human randomized control trials, we see that soy isoflavones have no impact on endometrial thickness, vaginal maturation index, FSH, and estrogen levels. The same is also seen for men, like in this meta-analysis of 41 human control trials, which found that these phytoestrogens have no significant effect on male sex hormone levels as well. And this type of fear-mongering is ridiculous because plenty of evidence shows how healthy chia seeds can be in reducing our risk of heart disease, aiding in various gut health-related issues, full of unsaturated fats, fiber, antioxidants, and micronutrients. So it seems that the only thing primal about the primal bod appears to be her brain. Oh,